Hi everyone, my name is Kenneth Burt. I'm a computer science major here at Penn State Barron. I'll be representing my group of Brandon, Alex, and I in talking to you guys about our system, the Code Quality Assessor. We were tasked with creating an application that assesses coding assignments based on their overall quality and complexity. The Quality Assessor needed to be a third-party application that could be integrated into Canvas. It had to analyze and generate a report for students coding assignments based on their quality and complexity. This would be so instructors had an easier time grading students' assignments and had better understandings of feedback they could give their students. This would, in turn, create that feedback channel for students, increasing their code quality and work. There are already many code analysis softwares on the market, so why do we need to create this one? Well, in short, none of these analysis softwares have the exact metrics that we desire. Also, none of them interact natively with Canvas, which is the main reason why we created this software. Now, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys an example of the implementation of our system. Right here, I've pulled up a virtual Canvas environment with our quality assessor already configured. As you can see on the left-hand side, we have our quality assessor already displaying in the navigation bar. After opening the quality assessor, it will display in a, in a window within Canvas showing our quality assessor dashboard. But you also have the option to open it up in a new tab. We're going to do this because it's less distracting. Now, here is our main dashboard of our code quality assessor. On the left-hand side, you can see the current, current coding assignment we've generated a report for. It's displayed in code that looks very similar to what you could find in an IDE. This increases the readability of the code and makes it a lot easier to understand what you're looking at. On the right-hand side, you have our metric, measured metric values. They're organized by quality and convention, along with smaller subsections. For example, the complexity subsection of cyclomatic complexity, lines of code, weighted methods per class, and ABC. Now, if you're a bit confused on what any of these metrics mean, that's okay. Because we have these small dropdowns that if you hover over, will give you a brief explanation of what these metrics mean. For example, looking at ABC, it stands for assignments, branches, and conditionals. You can also scroll down to see another way of viewing your measured metrics. It's a concentric pie chart. If you click it, it'll open up. This is all of your metric information, as you can see, along with the grades and what percentage of the specific section each metric represents. You click it again to close. Also on the right side, you can see our summary pages. We have them separated by quality and complexity. If you open up a summary page, it'll show you a summary of every student's submission all at once. So you can see overall how well the classes are doing on an assignment. As you can see, we've only have, we only have two students within our class, test student and Taylor test. Also, as you can see right below the, the measured metrics, there are some observations and suggestions. So for example, if the class did very poorly on their ABC metrics, it'll give a suggestion that the instructor could give to the student set for feedback. As you can see, compared to the size of the code, there are an excessive amount of assignments, branches, or conditionals. Try looking for places where unnecessary assignments, branches, or conditionals can be avoided. You click our X button up here to close. On the right-hand side, you can see our submitted files. Currently, this student has two submitted files, each of them being exactly the same. If I click one of the file names, it'll open up that file and show you the metrics and analysis of that file. You're also able to download the file if you want to. I'm not going to download it to my system because I already have this file on my computer. 
far to the right, you see our th thresholds bar. If you drag this over, it'll give you op the option to weight certain metrics. So for example, if I want ABC to be measured more harshly, I would bring it over here to like, let's say 72. And as you can see, our ABC is now measured a little bit more sharply. And that will be reflected here. Apart from that, you can switch from student to student on the fly using this drop down menu or the arrows. I'm going to use the drop down menu to select Taylor test. Now I've opened up Taylor, Taylor's first assignment and the report for that assignment. As you can see, the metrics have changed on the right hand side here. On the left, you can see the code has also changed. Here we have an example of different levels of psychomatic complexity. As you can see, though each file is very similar, there are specific metrics that are purposely made more difficult. This is pretty much every aspect to our system. The main takeaway for this system is that it's going to help measure the metrics and quality of students' assignments.